Loomers, Christy here. I'm working on what's called the little B stitch, and I'm doing it on my fine gauge, super narrow, 3 8 inch loom, and I'm going to show you how to wrap this fun stitch. It's a perfect stitch for baby blankets or for scarves, and it's the same on both sides, but it's a little bit airier than, say, the um, figure eight stitch or the um, stockinette stitch. So the interesting thing about this stitch is you end up doing a e-wrap on the back and a unit on the top. So as you go around, so if this is my peg one on the front, I go around and then I go up to my peg two, but that peg is a unit. And then I come down to peg two and I do an e-wrap on peg two and then up to peg three on the back and that's a unit, but on my forward three, it's an E-Rep. And I do that all the way down. So when I get to this point, as you can see, I have E-Raps on all of my front pegs and all my back pegs are units. Now I'm gonna use my pick to pick over each of these Pegs. and I like to do from the front and this first peg on the back was a slip stitch so you slip stitch the first peg each direction and I'm just picking over Enjoy the rain outside. Such a pretty rainy sound. Okay, and then I'm getting to this last peg. Now, when I wrap backwards, now because this is a super narrow, I have to push it down with the actual pick to get that middle part down. And now to go back the other direction, I do the opposite. So I'm going to e-wrap my back peg and unit the front front pegs. E-wrap the back, unit the front, and I do that all the way down. So now when you look at it, it's the opposite. I have units on all of my front row and e-wraps on all of the back row. And I can use my hook if I like. And then I pick over again. You want to keep it not super tight so that it will pick over easily. And again, we push it down with the pick, and that is how you do the little bee stitch.